Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is the UE4 scum game has crashed and will close. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, exit and then relaunch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to try Vulkan or DirectX 12. So when you launch the game, it gives you an option to play Scum Vulkan. So you can try this one. If that does not work, you can even try DirectX 12 version and then check. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Battlelight. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage. Now click on browse local files. Open open the Battlelight folder and over here you can see uninstall Battlelight option. Make a right click on this file. Make a right click on this file and then click on run as administrator. Click on a yes to allow. Click on yes to allow and then click on OK. And once done, now make a right click on install Battlelight and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And now you can launch the game. Still not working in that case, you can uninstall Battlelight this time. Make a right click, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Click on yes. Okay. Now do not do not install Battlelight this time. Instead, you can launch the game. Now, when you launch the game, during the launch, it will install Battlelight. So click on OK. Click on yes to allow. And it will install Battlelight this time. And then you can check. So over here you can see installing Battlelight service. Let this process complete and it should launch the game. Now still not working. In that case, the next step is to run this launcher exe as an administrator. So let me close the game for now. Make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. And then over here you can see this launcher. You can just make a right click and then click on run as administrator. So you can use this to launch the game. You can even uh, open this battle like B service underscore 64 run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And now you can try to launch the game and then check. So here you can see it's uh, launching the game now. So you can even try this, but let me close the game for now. So let me close the game. I'm not going to run the game now. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, in that case, you can open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security, then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. So find the game folder over here. Open the game folder. Select this exe file, click on open. Again, click on add in allowed app, browser apps, and then open this folder, binaries in 64. Select this exe file, click on open. Now again, click on add in allowed app, browser apps, and then go back. Again, back, again, back, and then open battle eye and select this. This is important. Select this and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse 
and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add again click on allow another app click on browse and open battle i folder go back and then open battle i select this exe file click on open now click on add so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now it's still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder this is important so make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then open this folder open binaries folder open win64 make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working then this time you can uh, over here you can select windows 8 hit apply click on ok if that does not work try windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working uh, in that case you can put a check on the box which says perform uh, disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to delete the config folder now when you delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost to delete the config folder uh, you can open file explorer in the computer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder open this folder open save folder here you can see the config folder make a right click and you can delete this folder and then you can launch the game now the next step is to rename the save game files now when you rename the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so before you rename the save game files create a backup so you can go to the same location go back go to this location and then here you can see the game folder make a right click copy this folder create a backup so maybe paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can go to make a right click on this folder and then you can rename it once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check it still not working the next step is to if you're using this focus right audio interface then turn it off this has worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to turn off frame generation now to turn off frame generation if you are able to launch the game you can go to graphic settings and turn off frame generation but if you're not able to launch the game you can do this in the config uh, so go open this folder saved config windows no editor and then game user settings and over here uh, search for frame generation so here you can see frame generation you can if this is set to one or any other value set it to zero and then you can save it now you can launch the game you can even make a right click and then go to properties and put a check on read only or hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game 
now amd card users can go to amd website select your, first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart you can be go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver and then then you can restart your computer once again and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select this in game exe file click on add once the game is added find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game over here select high performance way and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to roll back graphics driver i'm showing for nvidia users uh, if the latest graphic card driver is not working you can go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on fine it will take you to the next page on this page scroll down and then click on view more versions so the latest one right now is 576.80 if that uh, the geforce game read driver this is the latest one so you can maybe you know try 576.28 for many users this has worked scroll down for many users 566.36 geforce game read driver has worked so you can click on view download it but when you go for installation make sure that you select the custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file this is important so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website uh, you can download this x86 version and download this x64 you have to install both x86 and x64 so click on it click on repair click on yes to allow and download this x64 file as well and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once both are installed then restart again period restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option you can just make a right click over here and go to properties type in dash dx dx11 dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can empty this and then follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows settings go to windows update and then click on check for update in my case i have paused the update but you will see check for update option click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 
1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to do not overclock your computer. So if you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Winner, or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select Properties, and go to the General tab, and turn off the option which says Enable the Steam Overlay while in game, and then check. If you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off NVIDIA overlay. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Now unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Sometimes we have additional controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. If you have undervolt, you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable. When it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can simply uninstall the game. Now after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.